Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a lecture on end-stage kidney disease or chronic interstitial nephritis in the kitty cat. The most common way reason the kitty cat dies is because the kidneys give up. They basically use up all of their ability to do what kidneys do in the cat and basically then the animal cannot uh, reabsorb water and basically can't get rid of urates out of their the bloodstream. They go toxic and they die with elevated BUN and elevated creatinine essentially. It's the uh, little old kitty cat that kind of wastes away just like a little old man or a little old woman kind of wastes away and losing protein in their kidney. <clears throat> the kidneys become fibrotic essentially over a long period of time. Now what's interesting is cats can end up with end-stage kidney disease like this in 12 years and also they can end up with end-stage kidney disease like this at 21 years. The difference, of course, between the two, and you probably won't be surprised to hear that, is the amount of blood supply that is moving through the kidney. If the kidney has compromised blood supply, then what's going to occur is we're going to end up with that kidney having to do the same amount of work as anybody else's kidney does, only it's going to be able to do that with half the amount of blood. We found with Doppler work, in fact, I did this work research at, as a um, research project in my master's program at medical school. We put a Doppler meter around the renal artery and find out that some kitty cats have virtually only about 40%. Uh, normally they have 40% of their cardiac output going through the kidney, which is normal, but in some cats they only had 20%. In other words, they're doing the same amount of work with half the amount of blood, which eventually is going to break down the tissue because it's having to work overtime just to keep up. The cats are true carnivores. They have to have three times the amount of protein that the dog has and because of that they really need their kidneys and so their longevity is directly related to their effic uh, efficacy and the amount of blood that goes through the kidney normally. When you have neurological interference in the thoracolumbar area of the kitty cat, what happens is an elevated tonus of sympathetic comes up, parasympathetic goes down, less blood goes through the kidney and we have a lessening of the longevity of this animal's life. We have in the night from the, in the 1980s and 1990s we utilize a technique called somatovisceral therapy and this can in fact increase the blood supply through the kidney immediately and that basically is an important aspect of it too because not only we get less concentrated urine less stones in the in the urinary tract but also we get a kidney that uh, basically is functioning with an adequate amount of blood supply this is a cat that lives 19 to 21 years uh, the opposite is true unless we deal with that essentially the kitty cat is basically going to live about two-thirds of its normal longevity about 10 to 12 years or maybe die of end stage kidney disease a chronic interstitial nephritis at, uh, a, at a time of about 12 or 13 years of age we also have the ability to utilize and stimulate the, the kidneys directly and we can stimulate the kidneys directly with a, a, a frequency specific laser therapy the frequency is 43 for the nephrons of the kidney and that's the one that we use. We also use 24, which is a kid, which is a bladder frequency that seems to help. 300 for uh, capillary, 100 for arterial supply, essentially. Those four frequencies have been very beneficial. We've been able to do that. As I mentioned to you, unbalanced autonomic nervous system is the underlying cause of that, so we also will adjust them. Somatovisceral and frequency specific laser therapy, all of them basically thrown at these cats that are in kidney failure. The kidney failure cat basically can be removed. There's a number of our people, our vets that we've trained, about 800 of them essentially, that utilize this routinely for cats in so-called kidney failure or end-stage kidney situations essentially. And they'll bring these cats back and they'll be, they won't have perfect kidneys, but they'll be able to live out a reasonably normally, a normal life. And then of course they usually uh, succumb not to kidney failure, but to liver failure, which is kind of morbid to think about but nonetheless this is something that we can if we catch it early enough we can reverse to some degree to the point where these animals live a lot longer and we see this as very 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 common so this is a big deal if you only had if you only had one reason to use this device or a laser device essentially and that was just for kidney dysfunction in the feline and you're seeing dogs and cats in your practice for instance this would ju this would justify the training and the uh, purchase of the equipment i would I cannot stress on you, stress to you how important this particular is for overall longevity for these animals keeping these animals alive an extra five or six years means they live a happy healthy life you've got a happy healthy client essentially that continues to use you for their services which by the way is particularly beneficial for your bottom line if you want to um, discuss or, or learn more about the laser therapy and the VOM therapy how we apply it and how it's applied in your practice I'd have you go to the website vomtech.com will show you how to 
do it for free, why it works for free, and also how to apply it to your practice for free if you take the time to give me your email address and we'll send you a series of informations about those particular um, uh, technologies essentially. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I would have you treat virtually every old cat with this particular type of therapy so the cat lives out its complete life as opposed to being having it cut short because the animal has, com has basically acquired end-stage kidney disease and is non-reversible. It's kind of like a snowballing effect as the cat goes towards um, its own demise. Anyway, I'm Dr. Inman. This has been a lecture on chronic interstitial nephritis, comma, end-stage kidney disease, comma, or kidney failure in the feline. Thank you, and have a great day.